Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the likes and shares. Continue to do so. Tell your friends and family members about my YouTube channel and I would really really appreciate it. But let's go on into uh, recapping and reviewing The Young and the Restless that aired on Monday, March 20th, 2017. Monday's episode. I'll hopefully get Tuesday's episode with you because right now we have like a thunderstorm going on and I'm just really trying to finish up this review but either way you know I will get it to you let's go on and get into Monday's episode we have Ashley and Jack are getting into it about destroying the competition but they're also talking about Billy and Billy being a part of that equation that Jack is trying to destroy as well then we have Jack is telling uh, his sister Ashley to watch herself that his name is outside on that door, not hers. And she tells him, yes, for now. Okay, then Jack ought to stop. They're not, you know, that's not her dad or her man. So he really needs to stop telling her what she needed to do and what she shouldn't do and this, that, and the third. <sighs> because words do hurt. And, uh, you know, you can't take it back once it's already out there. So then we have Billy. Billy is still telling Victor, I mean, Victoria, how... His brother Jack is trying to sabotage his business dealings and Victoria is letting him vent and she's saying um, not don't be too hasty you know just calm down and then <clears throat> she tells him let's stop and think about it for a moment then we have Victoria's telling Billy to be business minded and related and not so emotional I'm like isn't a man supposed to be telling a woman that or isn't Billy supposed to be telling Victoria that I tell you they're yin and yang it just mixes it works then Victoria said let's outbid him and as we all know money walks I mean uh, money is the key to anything that you may want this who got the biggest pocketbook or who got the baddest wallet we all know money talks bullshit walks right okay then we have Billy said that's why I love working for a Newman. <laughs> I said, I know, I, I know, Billy, isn't it something? Anyway, uh, we go to Colin. Colin comes over to see Jill, and he's trying to remember his speech before he forgets it. But he's not looking at her, so he can say all the words that he needs to say that pretty much Neil has coached into him. He says, Neil convinced him to let you go, and he's going to go home to Australia course Jill is looking like what are you crazy then we have Devon is over to see Hillary at GC Buzz and they are looking amazing uh, together but they're also very toxic for one another too so they both can't change who they are uh, because they love who they are you know what I'm saying so we go to commercial we come back we have Devon tells Hillary I can't believe you don't want but just GC Buzz and nothing else and she tells him i don't want your money okay i just want the show i want something that i can say is mine but he don't really believe her he gets a phone call and he excuses himself from her at the time then we go to mariah mariah's walking in and she tells her to help mariah's walking in and hillary tells mariah to help her convince devon to give her the company gc buzz show in her divorce settlement and Ryan looks at her and said uh no that's just giving you more ammunition to put me in the unemployment line and we're not having that no way <laughs> and then she walks off from Hillary oh and Hillary looks defeated for now then we go to Colin Colin explains to Jill that Neil is giving him a loan or floating him alone to buy him a plane ticket to go back to Australia uh, so he can stop hurting her then both are talking about uh Philip uh, ring and how he got it, how he lost it, how he got it back to her. And they agree, both agree love is important in a relationship. Then we have Colin goes to leave and Jill stops him and she tells him what's on her mind. Both are talking about Catherine's bucket list. Jill tells and shows Colin her bucket list that she just made up and he goes through all of them and Colin thinks he has hope for his future marriage. Uh, then we have Ashley that's fussing with Jack still. Don't like his method of dealing with and acquiring new companies and to get back at Billy. It looks bad and she's telling him 
It smells bad. Then we go to Victoria. Victoria talks with the Board of Governors about the hockey league deal. And they don't want to deal with Brass and Sasser only because of Billy's past transgressions with the gambling, uh, with the drinking, and of course the last incident where he was fooling around with his brother's wife. Yes, Jack told them all of that mess, all that private mess. And of course, Billy's upset about it. And for long in the episode, Phyllis is going to be upset about it too. Cause that's just bad. That's just bad business, Dylan. You don't have to tell another person you're trying to do business with about your personal life. Personal life should not even come into the mix of doing business anyway. And they say women are emotional. Really, really. Okay. Then we have Billy thinks it's over, but Victoria is a new man. She fights to the bitter end, and she fights fights hard. She gets that from Victor. She tells Billy it's not over yet. They go to commercial. We come back. Well, Colin said her bucket list is dumb. The uh, part about forgiving her or him. Jill said she knew who he was from the very start, but she loves him anyway. Jill says she forgave him because it's more about forgiving her, him, and all his transgressions towards her so she can heal. She needed to be healthy and let go all that anger and animosity was for her not him. <laughs> so he really explained that to him. Then we have Mariah is listening to Hillary Motors about GC Buzz. She's begging Mariah at this time. Mariah wants to know the real reason why she needs her help. Hillary is giving the good enough reasons, but she's not so sure, meaning Mariah. Then we have Ashley. Uh... Wait a minute. Oh, Jack and um, Ashley still fussing. They're going over everything, uh, what was said. She's telling Jack uh, he's being very resentful towards Billy and all this and that. And that's why he's trying to go so hard for this hockey league deal. Of course, Jack said, yeah. Excuse me, that's a big part of it. But it's a chance for us to grow, you know, um, more savvy in the business world too and Ashley said no you're just weakening our company because we just took on a big financial burden on Fenmore's yes we're making money but still that's a lot to digest at one time and we should not be absorbing that much debt so that's what she's trying to get um Jack to figure out but of course we know we know Jack ain't hearing her he just want to sabotage Billy as much as he can okay and he's gonna do it so Ashley reminds him that, you know, she will take over the company. She has done it before and will do it again. Then he goes on to remind her while he was in New York, he talked with Tracy and he talked to some of the stockholders and he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Ashley looks devastated and yet confused. We that situation. We go to Billy and Victoria. They are uh, strategizing to get back in the playing field with that hockey league deal. And, um... Jack is really trying to steal it away from them. But of course, Victoria's a Newman. She don't give up easily. Then we have Mariah. Mariah's talking to Devon about giving Hillary the show. Mariah tells Devon that Hillary is going to keep her on board. Devon said, you really believe that Hillary's telling you a lie, honey? Then we go to Victoria. She comes to see if she can borrow some footage from GC Buzz on a past taping. Mariah goes to uh, retrieve it for her. Then we have Hillary is overseeing Jack about Devon. And she needs some advice from Jack about divorcing and what to expect now. Uh, then we go to Ashley. Ashley meets with Neil about coming back to the company. She also tells Neil he uh, Jack has done some unscrupulous things. He hired Gloria. Uh, that's his personal secretary. Very, very much so not a good move. Neil wants to know why. Once again, Ashley says Jack is making real bad business mistakes. And he needs him to come and tell Jack how bad he's doing a mistake because he's not listening to her. Mainly because she's a woman. Other than that, uh, she's his sister. Then we have Billy is at Crimson Lights. And he sees Phyllis there. And he tells Phyllis uh, all that Jack is trying to do to bury him in the business community. And what he told all the business people about their affair and Phyllis can't believe that Jack stooped so low and did such a thing. Then we have Jack is trying to tell Hillary to focus on what she can control. She tells Jack she's not asking for any money in her divorce settlement. She only wants to see Buzz. She 
She's asking Jack to give her some practical advice from time to time. Jack tells Hillary to get money too out of settlement. Don't be a fool. Also, um, even if it has to, uh, she has to use some of Devon's skeletons in, in his closet. I'm like, ah, see, Jack is being vengeful. You're doing too much, too much too soon. Then we have small talk still going on between Phyllis and Billy at Crimson Lights. Then we have Victorious looking at the roster roll of topics that were covered on GC Books on a given day. And that's one she's very interested in. Go to commercial, come back. We have Colin gives Jill some water so she can take her medication. Colin is, Colin is still trying, uh, still talking about leaving. Jill saying, but Jill, Jill is saying he don't really have to. She's not really ready to end their marriage, but she also tells him uh, she's taking his name off of everything financially dealing with her. So it won't tempt him to try to do anything else <laughs> in the near future. But she wants to work on their marriage. And, you know, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. They can go their separate ways. And he's liking that idea. Then we go to Phyllis and Billy still making small talk about Jack and his insecurities and his ways of not trusting anyone anymore. Uh, he's pretty much gone to the dark side. Then we have Mariah uh, copy Victoria's file and, and she gives it to Victoria. And Victoria asks her about a file she noticed on the computer about Jabot and harassment, etc., etc. Mariah tells her they didn't air that particular segment, nor can she let her see it, only because of legalities. She gives Victoria her um, video segment on a flash drive, and then she tells her she has to go see what her boss, Devon, needs before uh, she leaves. Uh, her unattended or whatnot. And she said, okay, go ahead, I, I got this. And then the computer still left up with the files that Victoria wanted to see so bad. Then when she noticed um, um, Mariah's not looking at her, that she's very engrossed in to what Devon is telling her. Victoria starts to put that flash drive, or she does put that flash drive back in the computer, and then she downloads that file that Mariah told her specifically she could not see. Okay, so we see how these people get down. The rich and famous, right? They have no scruples or morality when it comes to getting what they want. Go to commercial, we come back. We have Colin says, yes, he would escort her on her bucket list adventure, all of her trips. Uh, they both kiss each other, embrace each other, and they're back together for now. Then we have Ashley still demanding that Neil come back to the company, but he's not telling, but she's not telling Neil the truth, but uh, Neil has already figured it out, and he pretty much uh, calls her on her mess. And then we have Jack tells Hillary to put in her divorce decree that Devon cannot come anywhere near GC Buzz once she acquires it because it'll be harder on her seeing him every day and knowing that they're not together and that's just not a good healing point for her. She don't really need to see him anywhere near GC Buzz and that's what he tells her to do. Then we have Devon is asking Mariah out to dinner. I'm like, is this a real day or is this like to get information from her? Because she likes spying and keeping her eye on Hillary for Devon, of course. Then we have Victoria is waiting um, for, ne not Neil, for Mariah and Devon to leave the area because she knows she should have been gone. And then Mariah looks over to the left and she finds out that Victoria's no longer there, but the file was still up on the computer. But Victoria's waiting around <laughs> on the floor, trying to see when she can make her exit. But I wonder if somebody's going to come and see if she's okay. But she could quickly say, oh, I dropped something. You know what I'm saying? And picking it up. And then, you know, it is what it is. Ain't nobody going to search Victoria Newman. She is a Newman at best. Okay. And that was um the recap and review for The Young and the Restless for Monday, March 21st. Try to get the 22nd out for you prior to me going to bed tonight. And it is what it is, people. See you back again on tomorrow to give you more play-by-play, blow-by-blow uh, of the young and the restless. Thank you for coming to my channel. As always, peace and blessings. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Please like and share my videos as well. Thanks, guys. Take care.